The Rubik's Cube World Championship is happening this week in Seattle, with 2,000 competitors, the biggest cubing competition ever. The fastest speed cubers from all around the world are gathering to battle for the title. But most people think predicting the world champion is almost impossible. There's just too much randomness, nerves, scrambles, and who happens to have the best day. But what if I told you it's not entirely random? With enough data, can AI predict who will win the world championship? In this video, I will feed ChatGPT as much data as I can find to make it as accurate as possible and see if AI can tell us who is most likely to take the crown. Let's start with the obvious. Who placed top 3 in the last championships? That says a lot about who can handle the pressure and the massive audience. At the last World Championship in 2023, Timon Kolesinski came third, Yi Heng won second, and just one hundredth of a second faster, Max Park took first place. But it's not just worlds. The top three from last year's European, North American, and Asian championships are also super important to consider. However, there's a problem. Speed cubing evolves fast, some are less active now, while others are grinding 24 7. These cubers are improving at insane rates, casually breaking the sub 6 barrier and proving they could be the next world champion. To capture that, I gave ChatGPT the results of the last 5 competitions of the top 10 people from the psych sheet, because maybe someone's been absolutely on fire lately. So, given all this information, ChatGPT. Who will be the Rubik's Cube World Champion of 2025? Based on the season's hardest metrics, world record pacing, recent averages and head-to-head -head results, the title fight for Seattle 2025 comes down to China's two record holders. Yi Han Wang will clinch the 3x3 World Championship title in Seattle, with Shuang Yi Yang finishing a very close second. Neither Timo Kolesinski nor Max Park has the no single seeding nor the recent average speed stability to topple the Chinese duo this time around. Okay, so who takes third? Timo Kolesinski, thanks to his recent sub-5 averages and proven championship medal with wins at both the European and the North American Championships. So yeah, literally just like the side sheet. But honestly, I think this is a pretty realistic prediction. The gap between D3 and the rest is quite big and looking at their most recent results, they are absolutely on fire. So do you think AI is right or are there factors it didn't consider? Let me know in the comments.